to just keep it a buck with y'all. Like, I'm really still not sure how I feel about Travel Bay. Because first and foremost, there's no competition. We already won. I'm, I'm about to be 60 next month. Baby, I got street sense. You got to look that up on Google. How do you want to do it? Well, why do you think that? Why do you feel that? Oh, wow, you put some lashes on today. Can like a little Lunchable to go in his lunchbox. Right here. Even though they're naked, it's not like you're getting aroused. Sabe como chegar numa mulher? Hey guys, welcome back to Mortal Life. Before I get into this video, I ask that you like comment subscribe also smash that notification bell just to be sure you get on my videos as soon as i release them let's get right into this work has definitely had me in a chokehold but i still made time for three dates last week so let's rate them together surgeon bay took me to the movies and don't come for me, but I'm really not a big movie date in the beginning stages of getting to know someone. You really can't interact. Um, and y'all, I got some tea on this one, okay? Because we have not talked since this movie date, and I'll let you guys know why. So Travel Bay came back into town, so we went out and we did dining in the dark. So this was his idea. One thing I will give him, he comes up with really cool date ideas. And this was in Columbia, Maryland. I'm not sure if they have them all over, but definitely check the Fever app. So everything you're doing is blindfolded, you guys. And this was a crazy experience. I will definitely give this date idea a 10 out of 10. But I'm going to just keep it a buck with y'all. Like... I'm really still not sure how I feel about Travel Bay. He's super sweet. He's super nice. But there's just something that I'm not fully connecting with. Let me know how long it takes for you guys to kind of figure out if you're really feeling someone or not. Do you kind of know right away or do you give it a little bit more time? Granted, we are going into two months. So let me know if I'm tripping and giving up too fast. A new bay has entered the chat. So so she just said she wasn't feeling the guy before this right and now she's not feeling this guy travel bay or whatever he is if you're really feeling someone or not do you kind of know right away or do you give it a little bit more time granted we are going into two months so let me know if i'm tripping and giving up too fast a new bay has entered the chat so for the third date i'm going out with jim bay i met him on hinge but i think i'm over the dating apps and i think that i am over adding more people to the roster so he's pretty much probably going to be the last one at this point uh, we did a sunday fun day and it was super cute he came with my favorite flowers uh, we hit a few spots like this arcade um watershed and some few other places the vibes were really vibing, so I'm actually looking forward to going out on a second date with him. But let me know what you guys think. Wow. I think you're confused from dating too many men and being with too many men. Come on now. Vibing with guys. The second guy took you out to a blind date dinner, but he was boring, right? So then the third guy, it was fun with that guy. Until it's not fun, right? Until she's going to be juggling guys. She says she's done, but she'll be juggling guys for the next couple of years until she hits that boo, that wall. And it's undefeated. It's undefeated, sister. Don't sleep on that wall. Older women are trying to compete with them. I actually saw a young woman look like she might have been pushing 30. And she was saying that if you're 40 and older, you've basically wasted your life and you're just trying to compete um, with these women. And I'm thinking that's the craziest thing I ever heard of. Because first and foremost, there's no competition. We already won. Who's going to tell her? I'm, I'm about to be 60 next month. You see this gray hair? That's L-A-W. That's life and wisdom. We do not care. Underneath this wisdom is three degrees. One undergraduate and two advanced degrees. I've got more education and learning than you've got life. I am... Nobody cares, lady. My point exactly. I'm sorry. Will you stop lying to this young woman? You believe that lie? You so old. A military veteran, nuclear weapons, special weapons, handguns, you name it. I've had hand-to-hand -hand from a Vietnam veteran. I can put you down and out before you have figured it out. So, ladies. So, not only 
is she doing too much? She's also letting you know she's a man, and she she thinks she's competing. Some some you got a couple guys that want that, but I don't know. Let's not play. I can cook for seven different countries. I can cook the food of several different countries by memory, with no recipe and no measurements, and break it down to parade rest. So there is no competition. I'm already a mother. I've been married. I've done that. I've traveled the world all across the country. You just waking up, baby. I got street sense. You got to look that up on Google or social media. So when you step on the track, we've already run the race, got the medal, and went home, and we relaxing. Enjoy. <laughs> Man, what world are we living in? This lady has to be 60 going on 70, and she thinks she's competing with a 30-year-old. And that 30 year old just hit her epiphany. She's not competing with the girl that's 19, 20 years old. She's aged out herself. That 30 year old is starting to age out too. Listen, lady, don't believe the hype. Don't, don't, don't believe the hype. <laughs> that's when she was popping. Don't, don't, don't believe the hype. Believe the hype. <laughs> I heard you say on, I think on Tasha K's platform, I heard you say that there's certain people that you can't necessarily put a hex on or curse. Very small amount of people. Most people can be hexed. The people that cannot be hexed. The people that are living in their truth and they're actually connected to God in whatever way that is consistently, constantly and walking in that. Most people are not doing that. They're not doing that. That's interesting. This mm -hmm. is very interesting right here. I mean... I believe in that somewhat, right? Because the spirits is real, and that's who they do the hexes with. I don't want to get too deep into that, but you believe, if you believe in it, it'll affect you. And I do believe angels are watching over us, and they're protecting those who are ready to go their purpose. But I won't go too, too deep into that. we we'll save that for another time, another channel. But yeah, let's hop into the next one. I believe, here's how you can tell the difference between a man who is healthy and a man that's toxic. The man that's healthy is looking to be of service. All right, so before he says something, right? This is from a page, Diva Diva 1977. And that's about four years older than me. So this is a 47-year-old older woman who has been told this her whole life. That's a little clue there. But let me let him finish. The man that's toxic is looking to be served. So if I am a man that's only looking to be served, I'm not going to see you. Because I'm only going to see you through the lens of how you service me. If I'm looking to serve and be a boss, then I'm going to see you. What's your need? What's your thoughts? What are your dreams? What are your hopes? What do you want to do? How do you want to do it? Well, why do you think that? Why do you feel that? Oh, wow, you put some lashes on today. And who's that? Oh, it's Mr. MVP, Sim! Oh, okay, you got some extensions in. Like, because I'm looking to be of service. So I'm actually evaluating what's in front of me and identifying how I can make a benefit or make a contribution. Huh? Versus looking at it from like, what, what's, it, what's in it for me? Well, the way he explained it, he sounded like a sucker, right? A man should be looking at it from from uh, from a thought process or from a to be thinking in his mind what can a woman do for me and she should be thinking that somewhat as well right it's just that we've heard too much of the hundred thousand and then women aren't looking to do anything see he's saying that i don't know maybe he's married i don't know i know he's a church guy i can tell i, I remember him from somewhere but he's saying that like it's 19 60 that's that's out the window right a man can't be thinking what's what's how can i help her because all women are doing nowadays is coming to the table with their hair now saying what can you give me what can i give you nothing i can cook sometimes i look good i smell good vagina good you want that you don't want that i got nothing else to offer and guys can't accept that why no, we, we don't, don't go 50-50 in our relationship. relationship. Oh, we don't go 50-50 in our relationship because I work 70 hours a week and I pay all her bills. She a stay-at-home girlfriend because we don't got no kids. 
we live separately, so I pay the bills at her house and my house, take care of her like the queen she is. And you do stuff with what you do. Just let them know what you do to pack um, my lunch and stuff like that. Yeah, sometimes I'll pack him like a little Lunchable to go in his lunchbox or... You make the best Lunchables. I know. You like the pizza ones or you like the sandwich ones? I like I like the ones with the crackers in it and the cheese. And yeah, the, the little sandwich. Yeah, yeah little cracker sandwich. The little Capri sign. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He usually got to buy himself something else because he act like, I don't know, sometimes he acts like he's still hungry after that, which I don't know why you still hungry after you. I just packed you at lunch. But My check go direct deposit to her account every week. I don't want her to feel like she don't, she ever got to go out of work for anything. So I got my stuff going direct deposit straight to her. And then I have to ask her, can I um, use my money when I, when I need gas and stuff like that? Because I've been using that money to go towards, you know, my nails. If y'all men out there want a, a pretty woman, y'all, y'all gotta, y'all gotta do stuff like this. Is this, this how you get them? I'm actually about to have to go to work in 30 minutes. I gotta go get dressed. I'm not even dressed. I just want to do this video because y'all be chiming in on our relationship all the time but if y'all want us to do a part two letting y'all know other reasons why we go where we don't go 50 50 in our relationship let me know piggybacking off what he said if you want a good woman in your life why would you not want to pay for everything she has pay her bills you know get her toes nails stuff done i just feel like a real man would do that for his woman especially if he love her you love me, right? I love you. Kiss me, man. Kiss me first. No, kiss me on the lips. Not right now. No, kiss me on the lips. Stop. Mm. Stop. Mm. Stop. After you get off work. All right, guys. Now, I'm laughing. I'll tell you why I'm laughing. Because I looked them up and I seen some things. Because at first I said, is he is is this real? Because it don't seem real, right? And then I found this, and I knew I knew it was a game. And then I found more, but let me show you this. So I'm out here right now on break. I done left my lunch at her house this morning. You know, I stayed the night over there. She let me stay the night. Um, she bringing it to me right now. I'm gonna show y'all what she made for me last night because she said it's actually one of my favorites. True, right now I got a I got a freaking 16 hour shift today. On a Sunday, man, I'm too tired. And I done had a rough day today. Yeah. You said you had him lunch? You made my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Number but attitude. So, um, yeah, I like the kind of one. You made it for me. Really? Thank you. Hey, y'all, she got me my favorite. She got the, she made the best lunch. Because like I told y'all, man, I can't wait. <laughs> hold up, hold up. <laughs> he actually pulled out the lunchable. <laughs> Man, they they fool. And he's he doing it. She couldn't she couldn't hold it a little bit. She couldn't hold a smile. She held it back a little bit, but not that much. I commend this man for doing this and holding him back from busting out laughing. Cause I'll be dying right now. Look at him. She even gave me a little dessert with him. You got Reese's Pieces. She bought this from the store, though. This thing be so bust. This thing be so bust. You been working hard today? You been making my money today? Yeah. Because I need a fill-in. You feel in I got you, baby. It's coming so, to your account. Yeah, but I'm just saying, can you make it to where, like, can you get it like a day? You need early? a little extra? No, like, can you make them, like, drop your check like a day earlier or something? A day earlier? Yeah, because I need a feeling. Um, I got you. Okay. You want it a day early? It, it's going to come a day early anyway. It ain't going to come on Friday. It's going to come on Thursday. Well, can I get it on the Wednesday so it yeah. can be a day early? Of course. Okay. All right. Yeah, I guess I'm about to enjoy my lunch. I can get a guess. You can get a, another one whenever you get off work because you're not done working yet. All right, guys. So I'm going to skip past this. The reason why is because after that, 
I found this. And you can tell from his attitude, his mannerisms here, this is what's really going on. Don't be, don't sleep on them big dudes. The first thing I thought, I said, wait a minute, this, you could tell it's a prank, but then I seen this. So we're going to the pool today, and so this going to be picking out which fashion of a bathing suit he want me to wear today. Okay, so this is the first one that I'm trying on. It's got like these reflective colors and ties on size, and it's got this little seashell design. It's super cute, and these little curls for the straps. It's real super cute. Morning. You see that? You see that? Second one is giving. Did you see that look she did? Did you see? You, you see the kind of energy he's given, and the look she did when he said that. How dare you? She's giving him shock. He's giving her shock value. He's giving her aggression. Everything women want. She loved this man. That's what I see here. I see love. Another neon color. It's got like this braid. And you got that Miami swagger too. Bottom and the top. And all of these bathing suits are like buttery soft. Oh um, my think. See, look, look, look. Um, tree, tree thousand, tree thousand, tree thousand. Okay. I really, I, I'm not doing sorry, sorry, sorry. Shut, shut your mouth. I really like these braid right here. Braid Ouch. is a very nice touch. Okay. Of all the ones that I tried on, which one is your favorite? Okay, I got something else then. Do you like the one? Okay, on. See? Dress cover up. From Miami. He sound like a. Uh, now, you cut that part off. Why are you on the One of them Haitian boys, if you know what I mean. I'm never picking it up or not, but it's like sparkly. All right, let me let me stop this. Cause I'm about to get copyrighted for that, but uh, that's the energy. Like, that's his. But people, you know, people never believe. But guys that are like him get girls that are like her. It's nothing new. I've seen it before. I've known guys that have done it. That were big. Who else did? I, who else do we all know? Black and ugly as ever. However, oh, Biggie. Doom, doom, doom. He got that effect. All right, guys, now this next clip, this Japanese girl gets into how they do the nightlife out there in Japan. I'm not talking about the regular nightlife. What was your most favorite story from Japan? We went to gentlemen's club and American strip clubs. You have to throw money at the dancer. But in Japan, we went to, you actually have, everyone's like clapping, chanting, whenever they open their legs. You have to clap. You have to clap. Full news. You clap. If they close their legs, you do not. You're just like, everyone's just dancing. Even though, even though they're naked, it's not like you're getting aroused or turned on. It's mints that they're putting on for you. There's this one specific performance that I remember. The girls did an anime theme so she did akira and so she came out in the little bike like the the actual bike she had the jacket the pill in the back riding the bike she was riding the bike and then i just remember her dancing she was like going and then she she gets off the bike she's stripping down but was, people are like everyone's like dancing like yeah yeah she would take her side and be like yeah but we wouldn't yell you can't yeah. yell but everyone was just like okay you're just like yeah she did <laughs> she did when she first came in this was like legit a performance Man, so they're out there performing in Japan. Man, I, I don't know. <laughs> like you out there and they say she and you see some big noggers and you're like. I don't know how to keep it in the composure. Quais são as maiores diferenças entre os meninas brasileiras e os gringos? Então, gringo é educado, sabe como chegar numa mulher, tem educação que vem de berço. O brasileiro é mal educado, não sabe nem como tratar uma mulher. E é isso, assim, sabe? Ou é, o gringo vem com calma, falando daquele jeitinho charmoso. So, pretty much what she's explaining. <coughs> she's explaining what she likes about us, right? We come over there, we're a little more polite. Because this is what's happening. Guys are coming from a country where... Or from countries where you can't be disrespectful. Usually, those guys are not disrespectful, but they're a little bit more upfront. And some women like that. Some women like that. But still, some foreigners come out there and bring that gentleman attitude, and women love it. That gentleman attitude we have in the West that women degrade and shun is what women in other countries love. And that's exactly what guys are leaving because they all realize this is the way. 
Your passport, bro. Cash for no. There's definitely more to life. Download that nonsense back home. See you next video. Come.